You know what we don't notice? Half the time we fly a regional jet between cities on American Airlines and other carriers, we board an Embraer to do so. Sure, the safety card says Embraer on it, and we might even find the name in small print somewhere on the fuselage. But hardly any of us knows that the airplane is designed and built in Brazil. You could boast Brazilian engineering, but you don't. Why not? Germany has no hesitation embracing that claim. But of course, they've earned it. Everybody knows the quality of German engineered products, which happens to infuse their aerospace economy. The third largest in the world. But wait, one of the greatest pioneers in early aviation was Brazilian, a brilliant and inventive engineer who was highly decorated in his time. Alberto Santos Dumont guided the world's transition from lighter than air to heavier than air transportation. The value of such cultural seeds planted at the birth of an industry may be incalculable. A century later, you have become a leader in biofuel technologies, a key step towards a green economy where our harmony with nature will determine whether we thrive, survive, or go extinct. You also have an ambitious space agency, and you're the sixth largest aerospace industry in the world. In Latin America, you're also a leader in IT. And in a country famous for its agriculture, nearly a third of your economy rides on the back of tech-infused manufacturing. So maybe it's time the world knew more about this. Maybe it's time Brazilians knew more about this. Maybe you're overdue for displaying products that declare engineered in Brazil. Whatever else is or is not true in the world, tomorrow's growth economies, even those that may be purely agricultural, will pivot on today's investments in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. In a democracy, these investments flow from a scientifically literate electorate that chooses enlightened leaders who know and understand the value of education, of exploration, and discovery. Without these perspectives, we'd all still be living in the caves, with fellow cave dwellers grunting, you can't explore outside. First, you must solve our cave problems. Mm -hmm.